Okay, question number one from this practice paper I've made where I've compiled questions from different places. Um, this is practice paper B for the Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level syllabus. Okay, and I've taken questions from various sources. Now this is actually, this is actually question one from uh, June 2018, the GCE, the C2 paper. Okay, that's actually where I've taken this question from. Okay, so most of this paper is actually from uh, these, this C2 paper, but I've compiled them according to P2, okay, the new syllabus. Okay, but that's actually where it came from, all right? So anyway, question number one, it says, figure one shows a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 over 4, where x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Of course, x can't be less than negative 2 because then this will be a negative and that's, that means a square root, a square root of a negative will give you um, undefined, something that's undefined. Anyway, the finite region R shown shaded in figure 1 is bounded by the curve and by the x-axis and by the line x equals 10. Okay, the table below shows corresponding values of x and y for y equals x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 over 4. Complete the table giving values of y corresponding to x equals 2 and x equals 6. Now, if you look at the example they've shown here, um, x equals 10, they gave us a value which is in third form, so we should do the same. Okay, so let's see when x is equal to, oh, there's a minus here, isn't that? Minus. When x is equal to 2, okay, y is going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4 to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 4. Now this means the square root of 4 cubed. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. So 8 over 4 gives us 2. So this is 2 there. When x is 2, y is 2. And when x is equal to 6, you're going to have y is equal to, you're going to have 6 plus 2 which is 8. So you have 8 to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 4. Now 8 to the power of 3 over 2, well the square root of 8 is you can say the square root of 8 cubed over 4. So let's try to simplify this. Now this, you can take out from here a perfect square of 2. So you're going to have uh, a 4, sorry. So you're going to have the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 cubed over 4. So that's going to give me the square root of 4 is 2. Uh, 2 cubed is 8. So you're going to have 8 times root 2 okay cubed over 4 that's going to give me 2 times um, the square root of 2 cubed which is going to give me basically uh, 2 times you're going to have a root 2 squared think about it times root 2 which is going to give me 4 root 2 this will be 4 root 2 we can actually you could have just use a calculator to try and um, verify that. We could have done that right from here. In fact, we could have put the square root of 8 cubed um, divided by ah, uh, no. Let's do this first. So you've got the square root of 8 cubed divided by 4 and hopefully that will give us 4 root 2. Okay, which is what we said, yeah, 4 root 2. Okay, so now we have those values. Now we've got to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from the completed table to find an approximate value for the area of r, giving your answer to three decimal places. By the way, we didn't have to go through all of this. We could have just put it in a calculator from here. But I just wanted to just um, show you. And remember, it must be in third form like this is, because they've shown us that in that form. Anyway, so now we're going to use the trapezium rule. Now, the trapezium rule... The formula is given to you in the booklet, and basically what it, sh it states is, is h over 2 times and some stuff in, inside here. Now, I don't like to memorize the formula, but what I like to do is just to think about what's happening here. So, what they've told us to do is they've told us to make basically ordinates at 0, to, at zero at minus 2, sorry, 2, 6, and 10. So, you've got minus 2, which it's going to be zero at that point anyway. Then you've got two somewhere over here. Then you've got six, which is somewhere over there. And then you've got ten. They're supposed to be equally spaced, according to the numbers they will be. 
just trying to make it a bit more realistic here okay so now that's two that's six minus two two six and ten so basically if, if they were equally spaced it's going to be equal spaces of four units between each of these what are called ordinates okay so now uh, what they've asked us to do basically is to split this into a series of trapeziums you've got basically got three three trapeziums there's four there's four ordinates there'll be three trapeziums so you've got three trapeziums and this is actually a triangle it's like a trapezium with one of the vertical sides one of the uh, parallel sides is zero anyway but basically these okay um, if we find the area of each of these separately we will find the area or an approximate uh, area of R so the trapezium rules the H part is the distance between the parallel sides we know that the area of a trapezium is given by H over 2 times A plus B this is the distance between the parallel sides and these are the sum of the parallel sides. So basically what they're telling us to do here is to lump these all together and find the area of the trapeziums. Now, if you were to find the area, of, say, say this, this trapezium, you would have to use this length and this length. Okay, so your A and B would be these two. Okay, so this would be used once, this would be used once. Now, if you find the area of this trapezium, you're gonna have to use this length again for the area of this trapezium as well as that trapezium. So you're gonna have to use this one twice and also the same thing with this one, you're going to have to use it for this and for that. So the ones in the middle are always used twice and ones at the end are always used once. So basically, you'll find that it says basically two times, okay, um, you'll have y0 plus yn or plus, and you're going to have two times y1 plus da 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 all up to y to the power of n, uh, y n minus 1. So all that means is what we just explained now. The first and the last ones are used once, and the ones in the middle are used twice. And the h is the distance between the parallel sides, which is always the distance between these x values. So that's 4. You can see the distance is 4, 4, 4. So if we want to find the area using the trapezium rule, we're going to say h over 2, which is 4 over 2, times... Now the first and the last, I'm using them once, so it's 0. I'll just write it down for the sake of it. 0 plus 6 root 3. And the ones in between are used twice, so I'll say 2 times 2 plus 4 root 2. Okay, and that should give us our area that we're looking for. So let's see what happens. So we're going to have 4 over 2, which is 2 times. We're going to have 6 root 3. Okay, plus, then you're going to have 2 times, I'll open another bracket, 2 plus 4 root 2 and I'm going to close the, that bracket and then the outer bracket and I'm left with 51.4120 51.4120 continues now we have to show the answer to 3 decimal places so that's why I've written it to um, a high degree first and you see that it rounds to 51.412 square units and that's the answer to number um, one from this paper which as I said is actually the C2 um, the C2 June 2018 GCE paper question number one as well okay